Hi guys, it's Michelle from NGI, and today on Gene Bites, I'm going to be discussing our CBS gene. Do you eat a high protein diet or a ton of cruciferous vegetables, but then you also have brain fog, sulfur smelling gas, shortness of breath, asthma like symptoms, or even anxiety? This could be being caused by your healthy diet. If you don't know your genes, you don't know your unique biochemistry. So when we look at the CBS gene, we're basically looking at homocysteine. So homocysteine is an amino acid in your body. It's also a lab marker on your lab report that your doctor may use to assess for cardiovascular disease. Um, we do need some homocysteine in the body. We like the range to be between five and seven on your lab report. But if we have too much or too little, this can actually be a bad thing. This um, CBS enzyme in your body takes that homocysteine and moves it down into different pathways. So it's gonna help the body to make sulfate, um, it can make taurine, which is another amino acid, or glutathione. And as we know, glutathione is a master antioxidant and it helps us to bind up the toxins in the body and move them out. So if this gene is working too slow, you may see high levels of homocysteine on your lab reports. This means it's not moving down into those pathways. But a lot of times we'll see it working too fast, and this is called CBS upregulation. We can tell this is happening because you'll have high levels of ammonia in the body, which can cause brain fog. You may have really low levels of B6. This is its cofactor, and, may, and it's burning through it quickly. You also may be having re weird reactions to sulfur supplements like lepizumal glutathione or MSM or NAC. So we definitely need some sulfur in the body. It's very important. It's in eggs and protein and cruciferous vegetables and sulfur dried fruits and wine. But you may be eating a healthy high protein paleo diet and eating your cruciferous vegetables every day and you may still feel awful. So this is one of the genes that we look at on our optimal diet panel and some of our other panels. And if we see this gene variation, then we're gonna be looking for some of these symptoms. We're also gonna assess your lab markers to see if it's active or not. And then we're gonna help you feel better. We're gonna help you change how this gene works by lowering your protein intake, lowering your cruciferous vegetable intake for a short time, making sure you're not getting too much B6, which makes the enzyme work even faster. And we are gonna add in some molybdenum, which, um, is the cofactor to another enzyme that helps break down sulfate in the body. So if you have any questions about this, please leave a comment down below and we'll get back to you. Um, and we will see you next time on Gene Bites. Thank you.